Hi, my name is Gordon, and I'm a functional consultant on the Dynamics 365 Business Central team at Encore Business Solutions. In this video, I'd like to show you how to do an AP check route in Dynamics 365 Business Central. First off, when we log into Business Central, we can see that we have an overdue purchase invoice amount. This indicates that we need to pay these vendors or else they might start to charge us interest or even discontinue selling their products to us. In Business Central, we can process our payments through the payment journal. We can navigate to that page by going into the cash management dropdown menu and clicking on payment journals. On this screen, we have our journal batches. For the purposes of this video, we'll just use the general batch. Here on our first line, we can manually look up a vendor. After selecting a vendor, we can input a payment amount. Next, we can select how we're paying. So we'll pay through our bank account. Afterwards, we can apply this amount to an invoice. Here, we'll apply it to this invoice with a remaining amount of $100. For our bank payment type, you'll see that there are two types of payment types for checks. There's a computer check, if we need to print the check, or manual check, if we've already written the check and just need to record the payment in Business Central. For this demonstration, I'll select manual check. After we've selected a payment type, we can go ahead and post our payment. We can also use the Suggest Vendor Payments feature to automatically bring in our outstanding vendor invoices. To find this feature, hit Prepare on the action bar and select Suggest Vendor Payments. This feature finds payments based on the last payment date, or in other words, the payment due date. We can also enable the Summarize Per Vendor feature in order to total the amount of all our outstanding invoices per vendor. Here, we can also set our payment type. So for, for this demonstration, we'll use our bank account, and we'll set the payment type to computer check this time. Here, we can also add filters. So if you only wanted it to suggest vendor payments for a certain vendor, we could filter to that vendor as well. For this demonstration, I'll just suggest the vendor payments for all of our, our vendors. Now we've created our suggested vendor payment lines. Here we can see that the information that we've populated on our last screen was brought here since our bank payment type is computer check. If our payment type is computer check, we're going to have to print these checks before we post the payment. To print a check, click on check in our action bar then print check. Here, we'll select our bank account, and we can press print. For 
here, our print preview shows up with our five different checks to our five different vendors. Now we can see that our check printed column has our check marks and this payment is ready to post. This concludes how to do an AP check run in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions.